All right, welcome everybody. This is Papa Sean, and we're playing Osiris. And we got our GAV over there. Pretty cool looking vehicle. So I'm going to show you how to make wires and circuit boards. Okay, so first of all, you want to make yourself make sure you've got a habitat, and for a habitat, you also have to have an airlock. And I'll make sure you put all the panels in, otherwise it won't function properly. All right, so once you've got an airlock, a habitat, and it's all pressurized, you want to make sure you also have a small solar plant panel. And you're going to need, as you see far over there, we've got our forge, I'm pointing right over at it. That the forge over there is used to make some of the metals and things that are required to get the solar panels in place as well. So once you get that, you're going to build yourself a fabricator inside the habitat. And that's what we have here. The power of the solar panel out there is required to power this fabricator. So we're going to go ahead and push F to open up the fabricator, and that's where you can see the crafting options you have inside the fabricator. Wire and circuit boards are some of those options. So you see that the circuit board requires plastic, gold, and lithium. Uh, lithium can be found, I find it easily enough, in a cave, and I went to a hydrogen uh, area where just plumes of hydrogen were coming up, and I found a hole in the ground, that's where we went in and got some lithium. Gold can be found from precious nodes as well as within that, you know, those same caves that contain the lithium. And then plastic is made from rubber, so you want to find yourself rubber trees. And uh, also uh, wire, there's the rubber. Sorry, plastic is going to require, uh, let's make it take a shot. look over here. It's carbon and hydrogen, if I'm not mistaken. So I misspoke there. So yeah, carbon and hydrogen makes you plastics. So we're going to go ahead and make a few more plastics here. It's using up the hydrogen. Something to note is it's taking out of my inventory of my character, not the inventory of the chemistry table. You can put it in the table, but it's probably best to keep it on your person provided you have enough strength to carry it all. That way you can make it and it ends up uh, pulling from your inventory. You always have what you need on you. Otherwise, stick it on the craft table. So we got ourselves some plastic now. So go back over here and we can see that the wire is going to require the rubber. So make a couple of those, the copper and the gold, so some precious resources there. We want to go ahead and make some circuit boards out of those as well. So now we've got a couple of circuit boards and we've got some wire. Make another wire here. Okay. And so what are you going to do with those circuit boards and wires? Well, you get to make additional structures. So let's take a look at some of the furniture. These require some plastic, glass for the fabricator. Uh, but you can also make yourself a bed, and that's going to require rubber and aluminum and iron. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a bed. Uh, but in order to make beds and stuff inside your habitat, you're going to want to go over to the uh, wall here. And let's do this one right here. Use your multi-tool, and you're going to destroy it. So we're going to go ahead. Yes, why would you destroy it? Well, it's so that I can put a normal wall in place. Normal walls are required in order to build things against the walls. So now we got our circuit boards, we've got some wires, and we're also showing you how to build additional structures. Push tab, go to your furniture. We want to stick a bed here, so we'll go ahead and stick it right up against the wall. And then you want to push F, hold it down, get all the way to 100%. And now we have ourselves a bed. All right, so circuit boards and wires are going to be used to make some of the vehicles like the one you saw inside, the GAV. And something neat to note, uh, those windows, while they're made out of glass, you almost consider them like more of a force field because you can fire through them to the outside. So pretty neat. You can uh, make your, your base defensible, be inside here, and kill any critters that are after you. I well, hope that's been helpful as you figure out how to make some of the more advanced items. Uh, as you see, there's wires required for guns, assault rifles down here, and uh, heavy assault. So you just need to also have some of these stats in uh, your skill web to allow you to do that. So you're going to want to unlock the uh, heavy weapons to craft basic heavy weapons here, and then you can unlock to craft an additional and increase your damage on them as well. So once you've gone to your skill web, you can also apply your uh, points and strength, fortitude, agility, or stamina, and uh, very useful. So again, you want to get to vehicles and guns uh, so that you can defend yourself and move around the planet. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on Osiris.